Today we're at Bugak Skyway. Uh, we're here for some aesthetic photography. I know it's like a very popular term that's getting thrown around a lot by photographers, but actually there's a real actual aesthetic subculture of photography and uh, it's not the way it's being used by everybody. It's kind of in line with the whole vaporwave aesthetics. Anyways, today we're going to take a picture that looks like this. It's actually inspired by uh, Matias Alonso Revelli. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of his work, but it's pretty amazing. So here's Bugak Skyway. As you can see, the sky is like super clean. The clouds are like super crisp. And you don't get very day, you don't get days like this very often in Seoul. So this is why I rushed over here uh, with my camera. Of course, we're using my phone to shoot. You know, while we're walking along this path, I'm actually uh, keeping an eye on the clouds and trying to find shapes in the clouds. This kind of photo is very popular on Instagram. If you're like a portrait wedding or landscape photographer, maybe you've never seen this kind of thing, but uh, my kind of picture is kind of like the cyberpunk aesthetic vaporwave. It's kind of popular these days. And I want to take a picture just like it. So here's a nice view of Seoul City, but there's still some trees in the way, so we're gonna keep going. I'm using the little telephoto lens I got. Um, it's not a very amazing lens, but it gets the job done. But I was thinking, when I use this lens, it's, which is very cheap by the way, it's like 10 bucks or something, or two bucks, I forget. But when I use this lens, like uh, it creates kind of a little tilt shift effect. So I attached this lens to my phone. It's a very cheap, it's just a regular no-name lens attachment I got from online, but it's got some character, like uh, it creates kind of a tilt shift looking effect because it's so cheap. And I'm really curious how that's going to look when I'm taking photos of the clouds, you know? So uh, yeah, let's keep walking and let's see what we can get. So when you're uh, hiking around the mountains in Korea, it's very common to find these uh, foxholes for the soldiers with supplies. These is, this is just for the Korean soldiers to be ready just in case North Korea attacks. So like uh, they can all just scramble to their positions. But yeah, these are fairly common. Here we go. We should be able to uh, to get the view we want from here mostly unobstructed. All right, so we're nearing sunset and this is like the time you want to start shooting because uh, first of all, you start getting those bright colors in the clouds, which kind of makes a separation between the clouds and the sky, which is really nice. We're also going to stay shooting past the blue hour uh, actually a quick note a lot of these instagram posts are uh, they add the moon and they add like a little airplane and jet lines behind with photoshop and stars also uh, i don't really want to do that but i might do it just for fun uh, just to see how it goes but anyways right now i'm keeping it out at the clouds and trying to find some uh, some nice shapes you know like hearts stuff like that people like that kind of thing and uh it looks like it's gonna be a nice epic sunset so uh Let's keep at it. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you like, please stay to the end. Uh, not for anything particularly special, but because I got some uh, kind of outtakes, just just for fun, you know. Uh, I was trying to record this video in the beginning and it didn't go very well, but let's, let's, let's move on. So I found one cloud that kind of looks like a heart, which is really exciting for me because that's exactly what I was looking for. But we're gonna keep looking for different shapes and see what we can come up with. All right, so today we're at Bugak Skyway. It's, uh, actually kind of overlooking the city of Seoul and we came here because anyways 
Today we're at Bugak. Today we're at Bugak Skyway. Uh, this is a place overlooking Seoul. It's actually anyways. Today we're at Bugak, and we came here because today we're at Bugak. Uh, this is a place overlooking Seoul. It's actually. 